Hello, uh, right, um, on board Tiger Lily. Um, last time we lifted in, we had a depth problem. Um, namely, we didn't know what, how deep it was, the depth transducer had went off. So uh, now we are, we've just bought a new NMA 2000 depth transducer. Well, it's actually a triducer, it does depth, speed, and temperature. So um, I'm just in the process of cleaning up, but I'll give you a quick run through of what we've done so far. As you can see, this is our new triducer, speed, depth and temperature. That is our old speed. And that is the whole that the old depth transducer was in. And it was well and truly gunked in, so what we've had to do is a uh, big pair of water pump pliers, as you may be able to see it, put up some fight. To just to, that was just to get the, um, the locking ring and the rubber bush. Um, so then there was the depth transducer, which um, again put up a bit of a fight to get the big water pump pliers. Uh, I'm sorry for the sniffles, it's hay fever, it's quite uh, high pollen count today. So luckily I thought we were going to have to open up the hole, but it is... Thankfully the same size, so obviously drilling a hole in the hole isn't exactly my first priority. So I'll go and have a head down and have a quick look at the so this is the old depth transducer which should stop working. As you can see there was a lot of sealant on it. Um, so, and that is the hole it came out of. So what we'll have to do is, just like this now redundant through hole, it was covered in anti-foul and everything else. So what we did is a sharpened putty knife. and scraped off all the edges like so and then got an edge in there and hit it with a hammer basically so we've got in, in, in every edge and uh, sort of cut the cut the sealant around the hole And then on the inside we got again the big water pump pliers I got showed you before. And we got it and twisted it and stamped on it and all sorts until we broke it through. Bit of a tough job. So this is the new through hole. Which we're going to clean all the sealant off that and uh, then we'll glue this in
Okay, so we're getting ready to get ready to put the sealant in. Now, a friend of mine says to mask up around the hole because obviously the sealant's a swine, they get off once it's cured. So we put the masking tape on and uh, that'll catch the squelch out over. So, yeah, I'm gonna proceed doing that. And I'll get back in a bit. Okay, that's us finished masking off. Um, again, uh, if anybody has any boat questions, uh, has been on any of the boat yachting forums who have heard of a guy called Viv Cox. Um, if you want to check out it, a mine of marvellous information, we call him the Saddler 34 Guru. Um, but what he does is it's a lot of work on other yachts, so if you want to have a look at coxengineering.com. Um, the uh, Sigaflex, the other. Uh, um, Sealant is about 20 pound a tube. Um, we can use this exactly the same stuff, just different packaging. Um, Fiber, so you can't complain. So, what we're going to do is we'll open this up and we will uh, put a load of uh, sealant around the new through hole up to about here all around yeah big thick blob of it so it fill any sort of impurity space and we'll go inside and we'll put another blob of air sealer around the uh, rubber gasket and then we'll tighten it down and then leave it to set hopefully and then Hopefully it will be, I'll come down here and take off the masking tape and it should be cl close to done. And then next job is freeing up a frozen sea cock in the heads. Side of the boat, not inside the boat.
is it? Always better to have too much than not enough. Said it was not my tip. Absolutely genius. Go and glue the inside. Okay, hello. Here we are inside Tiger Lily. never to have to take this out again Remember this seal could be directional, so I'm just double checking. No. Good idea to wear gloves.
how that works. <laughs> 